Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm the owner of Tan Equestrian. So they contacted us about a year and a half ago when we first started and um, we were a brand new facility at the time and they had contacted us and asked if we would like to try out their product. We deal with hunter jumpers and we have primarily um, thoroughbreds or warm blood horses. We feed quite hot, uh, high quality hay, and sometimes we have older horses, and we were finding that the nets that we were using either would freeze, they were really difficult to put on, they took a lot of labor, um, we tried with no nets, and sometimes that can be really bad for horses ingesting things, getting things in their airways, um, and then also the slow feeding when we have hotter hay is much better for them, for their digestive systems. It um, promotes just slower eating. It helps out their teeth. It actually wears them down, which they naturally should be. Um, it helps with ulcers. And so we were looking for a product that was just better than what's out there. I enjoy how easy they are to use. Um, having an entire horse barn, having to do so much extra work all the time is just not ideal. It's easy to use, all of my staff can use it. Uh, it doesn't take extra time when we do bales and everything that um, is in the products are easily clipped, they don't take a lot of work, um, and they're very sturdy, so there's not a lot of things that we have to fix all the time. The nets are great, they don't really chew through them, and as far as any other products we've ever used, it's taken much less time and money uh, once you invest in the product. So it definitely has gotten easier. Uh, I think I mentioned before, we were trying to use just general hay nets, which takes a lot of labor to put on. They break, they freeze, horses get caught in them as well, especially we have a lot of horses that have shoes. Um, and so it was a safety thing. So in order to go do bales now, it's very easy. It's a two person job, one's on the tractor and one person can do the changing of the bales. Um, safety wise, our horses are happier. Uh, there's less injuries. Um, there's no wastage of our hay whatsoever, which has been a huge thing for quality here. Uh, we do make our own hay. But the nice thing about the feeders as well is you can pick them up and move them so horses are not continuously eating um, in mud or in dry spots so you can move them around and so that's made life a lot better for us. I understand that it's a lot to invest in right off the bat and that's probably going to be everybody's first question is it's a lot of money to start off with but I'm going to tell you you are not going to have to replace this product once you buy it it's there forever. The Quality is there. I've not found any nets that do not break, that do not chew, um, that do not freeze. And as far as the company, they come out, they help you fix things. They will walk you through things. You don't have that with any other product. You don't have the quality assurance. You don't have the people. You don't have the customer service. So it's a big investment, but overall, you're going to save on your hay, which is huge. You will not have any wastage. You will have no vet bills as they are safe and you're not getting horses caught in nets. Um, and then you have people to talk to. You have customer service. They come out to our facility and help us with repairs. If I need to call them and ask them questions, they are there. You don't have that with any other product line. So we definitely have saved money. As I said, it's a big investment to start with, but we are having zero wastage of hay. Before that, uh, we were definitely having horses that were wasting hay, horses that weren't using all the hay because it would sometimes mold or rot before they even got to it. The, uh, because they are raised up, they are never sitting on the ground. They also have the shelters on top, so they're always protected from the elements. And my horses eat it right down, and I basically put in the next bale, and I've got zero wastage of hay. So if you're having to pay for hay, which is a huge cost for most uh, equestrian facilities, and you're wasting that hay, um, that is a big economic downfall for you. So I would put the investment in because you're gonna save it in the long run.